Hello, welcome to Be The Magician. My name is Brandon and welcome to my channel. So I've got another treat for you, another fantastic, very fooling trick. It involves a lot of people, so you get more people involved. So let's get into it. Okay, so let me show you what this trick looks like. And yes, like you can see, I am using the close-up pan what me and Debbie uh, made. I used it on the last video, which was Jack in the Box, which is a brilliant trick. I hope you do use that. Uh, but yeah, after doing that video and feeling it, it just feels so good. I might have to start selling these. So if you want one, please send me an email. No, I'm joking. Right, uh, let's show you the trick. So this gets a lot of people involved. And I've obviously got the camera a bit further away so you can see everything, so it's not just on my hands. So obviously the cards can be shuffled as well, and you'd ask your spectators to cut a pack. You need four people for this. So let's say they cut this many, they cut that many, they cut that many, and you're left with some in your hand. And you tell every spectator to shuffle the cards up in their hands, which they, which they will. I'll do it really quickly. Obviously you'd have four people so it makes it a lot faster. So everyone's shuffling the packets, and then you ask the spectator if they want to swap packets. So let's say they want to swap them, they want to swap there, there, there. It, it, it doesn't matter. They, they say, yeah, I want to switch, I want to switch, I want to switch, till everybody is happy. So whoever's holding this packet, I don't know, you tell them to look at the bottom card, which is five. You tell them to remove five cards from the top, one, two, three, four, five, and place them to the bottom. Now place one card on each packet like so. Same again, and don't forget these cards have been shuffled by the spectators. You tell them to look at the card, which is a four. They take one, two, three, four, they go to the bottom, and one card gets added on. And again, which is a three, take one, two, three cards to the bottom, and one goes on each packet. Same for the last one, oh, another three. And that's one, two, three, and one card goes on each packet. So think about it like this. The spectators actually cut, cut into four packets. They do that. Obviously I've got nobody here to help me. Then they will shuffle the cards as much as they possibly want. Then they switch the cards, they switch the packets. So it's out of my control. But this is very crazy, because when they snap, they manage to find the one, two, three, four aces. Do you know what? I think that is so strong, because you are not doing anything. The four spectators, you're getting everybody involved, and they have done that. That's what makes it so good, and you will get great reactions doing this. So let me show you guys exactly how to do it. Okay, so here is the explanation of this trick. So there is a little setup, which is very easy to do. You need to remove the four races and any three. That's all you need to do to set the trick up. What I usually do with the aces is either put them in red, black, red, black, or black, red, black, red. It's not necessary, but that's the way I do it. So the aces are going to go to the bottom, followed by a three. That is it. Easiest setup in the world. So take the four aces out, followed by a three. So this is what makes this look so fair. The spectator will cut a small packet of cards. So you want to make sure they're in your hands. You go to your first spectator, look, I want to cut a small packet of cards, which they will. They'll, then they will cut another small packet, and they will cut a small packet, leaving you with a small packet. So when I did this in performance, I was shuffling my packet one at a time. But they will be all shuffling, and, and me, everyone will be shuffling together, so it looks really, really fair. But you're doing a secret shuffle. You need to shuffle the four aces to the top, but leaving the three at the bottom. And if you're new to magic, you're going to be thinking, how the hell am I going to do that? Let me show you. So the aces and the three is at the bottom. And what you're going to do, you're going to do like an overhand shuffle. 
but you're gonna milk the bottom and top card. So hopefully you can see this on camera. My thumb's gonna go on the back and my middle finger and ring finger is on the face. And I'm gonna pull the top card and the bottom card down together. Hopefully you can see that. So the bottom card stays there. Now you're gonna overhand shuffle the cards, but when you get close to your aces, you're gonna do single shuffles like single cards, so the ace to go into the top. So now your three is here, and your four aces are at the top. We'll do that again. So you're gonna milk the top card, sorry, the bottom card and the top card by taking the top, the top card and the bottom card like so. Hopefully you can see that on camera. Do it very, very slowly. And then you're gonna shuffle the cards off, and the aces are gonna go to the top. So when I get close, I'm gonna do single cards like that. So now the aces are on top. I'm gonna to do that face up so you can see. So for the last time, I'm gonna milk the top and bottom card like this. Do that again, like this. Then I'm gonna shuffle the cards. Now when I get close, I'm gonna do single cards and you'll see the aces run to the top. So now the ace is at the top, okay? But you're probably thinking, that looks so obvious. Yes, it does when you do it in a single packet, but at the same time, while you're doing that shuffle, the spectators are con concentrating, shuffling their cards. So, and if you do this at speed, do it at speed so you can see it again. So you say, okay, you all shuffle your cards, now I shuffle my cards. Brilliant, they shuffle theirs, and I've already done it now. So, but at the same time, everyone's shuffling together. And then you say, do you want to, does anyone want to swap packets? You can swap packets if you'd like. All you have to do is keep your eye on the four, where the four races are, which is in your hand. So you say, does anybody want to switch? Let's say they want to switch with this packet. Then they want to switch with that packet. They want to switch with this packet. All you got to do is keep your eye on the aces. So let's say the aces are left here. Okay, and I've got a random packet. So this packet has to be the last one to do the moves. So when you look at the bottom card, you take five, it has to be the last person. If, if the ace packet were over here, we do the exact same, would go this way. So this is the last packet. If it's the middle, don't worry, you can go this way. So this will be the first person, second person, third person, fourth person. I'll show you what I mean. So let's say the aces are here, like we know. So we say, look, what I, I would go first because I'm first, they're last. The, the, the aces have to be last. So I look at the bottom, pa uh, bottom packet, it's five, I take five cards. This has got nothing, this is not doing nothing, this part. And then you're gonna, Deal three cards on top. Oh, sorry, you free one card in each packet. Do the same. It's ten. I'm just going to spell ten because I don't want to count ten cards. T E N, and then one card on each packet. The exact same. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One card in each packet. So now doing that. Okay. So we did the first one. The first packet card in each one. Second packet card in each one third packet card in each one. So that's put three cards on top of the aces. So when they take a look at the bottom card, which is a three, you're gonna remove them three cards, what have just been dealt on there. Now you're gonna deal the aces on each packet. So when you turn them over, you have got the four aces. It's ridiculous. Hopefully you understand that if you don't, We'll go through that one more time. So let me get it set up really quickly. There we go. So here we go. Aces, three at the bottom. You tell the spectator to cut the card into three packets, but you'd have four people here, or three people. So they were cut here, this person will cut there, this person will cut here, and these cards will be in their hands. You say, I want to give all the cards a shuffle so they will be mixing, and when they're mixing, you're doing this move, milking the top and bottom card off, and then shuffling them aces to the top. 
and then you ask if you want anybody to switch packets. If they don't, it doesn't matter. But let's say they do, keep your eyes. On, uh, do you know what? I'll turn all the aces over. So it makes it a lot bit easier. So do anyone want to swap? Yes, they want to swap with them. They want to swap with them. They want to swap with them. So now, what you need to do, obviously you know where the aces are because they're face up, but they will be face down. You keep behind the aces. That has to be the last packet because the top three cards is going to go above the aces. So I would go first because it has to be the last packet. So two, uh, two that's one, two. And one card on each packet. These will go, which is a Jack, J-A-C-K. Pack that, that. The next one is a free, one, two, three. And now, like you can probably see, it makes it a bit more easy to understand. Them three cards, I've gone, these three cards here, what are now here, I've gone above the aces. When, but when they look at the bottom cards, which is a free from our setup, they take the top three cards, place them to the bottom, and then now, the aces are just magically there. So hopefully you understand that. Uh, I tried to go through as much detail as I could. If I have missed anything, let me know down in the comment section. But that's the explanation on this tremendous spectator cut into the aces. Okay, so that is the end of the video. Do you know what? That light is actually blinding my eyes. It really is. I bet you can see the reflection um, from the light. And I've got a big light behind me so you can see my beautiful face. No, I'm joking. Uh, yeah, so that is it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Do you know what? This is a killer trick. It really is. I actually did this not long ago. Uh, I went away with my girlfriend. I went to a place called Great Yarmouth. If you're in America, you've probably never heard of that place. Uh, it's like a seaside place. And was at the bar did this trick and they went crazy, got drinks free all night just from doing this one trick. Crazy or what? And a little thing to laugh out as well. We actually went to Curry's uh, PC World. I don't know if you've got them in America. I don't know. But uh, we, we were buying a, what was we buying? I think it was a Nintendo Switch. But I was looking at Apple laptops and I typed in there on YouTube, Be The Magician you, uh, on the YouTube. Obviously my channel came up and I left it, and obviously I walked around and left it on, and this kid came over, I'm like, oh, what's this? Clicked it, started watching my videos in, in Curry's, <laughs> and he got his phone out, oh, I'm gonna subscribe to him. Free advertisement, people, I don't know if he left it on, so I weren't there much longer, but he did actually subscribe to me. I should have gone over and gone, you just subscribe to my channel, but I didn't. But yeah, that is it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm gonna stop rambling on right now. Let you learn this trick and I'll see you next time.